What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review The People versus Billie Holiday. Um, but before I get into that, I got to shout out my new subscribers. Tay Money, Kerwin Rowland, Richard Anderson, Michael McCrea. Thank you guys for subscribing. And all my other new subscribers, I do appreciate that. Also, listen, y'all. Help a brother out. Come on and subscribe. Hit that button down here, down there, over there. Hit the subscribe button. Leave some comments. Come on. Engage. I love it. Shout out to those of you who are leaving comments. I see you, Miss Trish. Patricia Long Cryer. I see you. I see you, quiet guy. Kendra Hall. Kerwin Rowland. Tia Devine. Jennifer Calhoun. Randall Brown. House of Sir James. June BLC. Uh, Ingrid uh, France. Um, Atif, Simply Be Yourself 100, and all the rest of you, R.C. Kroger, all the rest of you, I see you and thank you so much. A brother does appreciate it. And y'all, y'all helping this channel grow, grow, grow. So I do appreciate that. So now that I got that out the way, let's talk about this film, The United States versus Billy Holiday. Um, I almost said The People versus Billie Holiday. I must be thinking of that movie, The People versus O.J. Simpson. Anyway, it is out now. It's on Hulu. So if you got Hulu, check it out. If you got your cousin's Hulu account, <laughs> check it out on your cousin's Hulu account. Whatever, just check it out. Um, we all know who Billie Holiday is, right? Billie Holiday is the legendary jazz singer known for songs like All of Me. Why not take all of me? I like that song. But one of my favorites is Them that's got shall get Them that's not shall lose So the Bible says And it still is news Mama may have Papa may have But God bless the child that's got his own. That's got his own. Okay, that's enough of me butchering that. I actually sang that song in a play that I was in, but this ain't about me. Let's really back in and make this about the movie. So, this movie stars the lovely, talented Andra Day, who, congratulations to her, she just won the Golden Globe for what? Best Actress in a Motion Picture. And this is her first film and her first time acting. So kudos and shout outs to her. That's awesome because she did an amazing job. This was directed by Lee Daniels. We know Lee Daniels from The Butler and um, Empire and Star. It's based on the book called Chasing the Scream, The First and Last Days of the War on Drugs by Johan Hari. Now, this film it got mixed reviews but she got that she has she did an amazing job she really embodied Billie Holiday she sounded like her it was phenomenal to me I enjoyed her performance it was phenomenal I understand some of the critics that were saying the direction it had too many directions but listen the message here I thought was awesome I enjoyed the film now we've seen Billie Holiday played before on film by the legendary Diana Ross and Lady Sings the Blues um, Audra McDonald did her in, I think it's called A One Night at Amersims or something like that, which was a play and it was also an HBO movie, I believe. But none looked like Billie Holiday or sounded like her. Diana Ross didn't sound like me. She did an awesome, awesome job in that, but she didn't sound like Billie Holiday. Andre Day sounds like her. I mean, sound, she did an amazing job and I like the way she portrayed her as this strong no nonsense, take no mess woman who had troubles as well. She was very troubled. She didn't have, it seemed like she didn't have good men in her life. She was used by people. She had a lot, a lot of things going on. But the focus here is basically how the government was after her. And you're thinking, why is the government after Billie Holiday? Why is the, the FBI don't have nothing better to do but go after a jazz singer, a little, little lady singing jazz? Why are they going after her? They're going after her because of this song that she recorded in 1939 called Strange Fruit, which is a very sad song, but it's an eye-opening song because Strange Fruit is talking about the strange fruit hanging from the trees, which are the people that were lynched in the South, that were hung 
burned, tortured, brutalized. It's brutal. It's horrific. And they felt that this was a threat because this song was shedding light. And I also read where they're saying that um, this song was like a declaration in the beginning, you know, of getting the wheels moving on the civil rights movement because it shed light. So now this FBI agent, Harry Anslinger, who was played by Garrett Hellman, oh, he didn't like that. Mm -mm. He didn't like that. He This goes to show you how powerful we are as a people and how powerful music is and how it can cross races and genders and reach people. This song was reaching people and she was becoming more and more popular and he was threatened over a song. And see, I'm annoyed because I'm just now finding out. I didn't know, and I've heard and I've learned so many things about Billie Holiday. I never knew that the government was after her. So I commend this movie for telling that story, that the government was after. She's like a hero because she did not Stop singing Strange Fruit. And they wanted her to stop singing this song, y'all. They wanted her to stop singing this song badly. She was a threat. They didn't like that. One of the guys said it was un-American. You know, a communist wrote that song and all this foolishness. But it is, they just didn't want the light to be shed on the truth. That this lynching and all of this is awful, horrible. Racism is ugly, is disgusting, is gross. And it just made me, it annoyed me that how, how far they went to try to stop this woman. And you know, she gets depicted all the time as, oh, she was a singer who was a, on drugs. But I believe they killed this woman because I believe they kept, they just kept at her till they kind of, you know, of they planted drugs on this woman. Instead of putting her in a the hospital, they put her in jail. He was constantly following her, just ridiculous. But. They also did, I mean, this is how they had a man that they planted, black guy, who got to know her. Um, let me do my notes again and look at his name. He was played by Trevante Rhodes. Y'all know him from Moonlight. And now he's playing the character of Jimmy Fletcher. He, at first, gets to know her. Then she finds out he's an agent. Then eventually they do get a little romance, and then he's kind of on her side. And I bet... In real life, he probably regretted helping the FBI like he did because he was an agent. They didn't really care about him, and they didn't really care about this war on drugs. The thing was, they couldn't get her. It's not illegal to sing a song. So that's why they had this whole war on drugs thing, drugs, drugs, drugs. The drugs was r ravaging the communities. They didn't really give a damn about that. They wanted this song stopped. That shows you what type of evil we were dealing with and how powerful we really are. Because this song was making them mad, y'all. This song was making them mad. So I love this film just on the strength of that. The film looked gorgeous. She looked gorgeous. She did a great performance, Andre Day. Great performance in this. I really enjoyed that. And it just woke me up to something about Billie Holiday that I did not know. Because I did not know this. I, how many of y'all knew that the FBI and the government, I did not know this. So I'm glad that this film was made just to tell that story. Just awesome. That's all I can say. And everybody here did a good job in the film, you know, the film, what they did. And, you know, of course, there were things we knew about, yeah, the drug use. And this film didn't really harp on, well, they did mention the drug use and show the drug use. But to me, it also showed her friends and how people really loved her and her love of her dogs and how she was like a fighter. She was a strong woman. She didn't have the best men in her life. And they, some of these men did her dirty. A lot of them did her dirty and they, they used her. It's like this is the tell all this time. This always happens when you have these divas thrust into the spotlight and it's always these leeches around them just taking 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 no one they can really trust and they always die tragically we know how she died you know tragically in the hospital sad what happened to her but i also feel good knowing that this film kind of gives her some justice and shows that she's a hero because she did not stop singing that song strange fruit and another great thing you know after she passed that song has made it into the Grammy Hall of Fame. It's been covered many times. This, he, he failed. He may have wore her down and she died 
young. She was only like 44 when she passed. But the song lives on. Her legacy lives on. And that's what's great. That's what I love about it. And this film just did that and opened my eyes to that aspect of Billie Holiday. So that's all I got to say about this film. I enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts. Did you like it? What did you think about it? Um, I really enjoyed it. And um, I also saw, I think there was an interview now where Andra Day, who is also a pop singer, she had that song, And I'll Rise Up. That was a pretty song. She's doing great. She um, did an interview where she was saying that J. Edgar Hoover, who was over the FBI, is an evil man. And she thinks that they should tear down any monuments or change the name of anything. That some built some state building that has his name. He's not a hero. He's a monster. And she compared them to Hitler. It was really interesting stuff because she said the, the people that he's that are dead because of him and his racist ways and the way he's dismantled a community. He does not need to be celebrated. She mentioned that. I saw that in like a recent interview online. You can look that up. You could Google it. You'll find it. But yeah, I just wanted to say all that. That's all I got. I enjoyed it. Check it out for yourself. Tell me your thoughts on the film. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. And you all be blessed.